G'day guys, War Boss here with you for a very quick look at Weta Workshop's The Witch King from the Lord of the Rings mini epics line and this is number 13 so unlucky for some I suppose but um, yeah let's get stuck into this guy uh, he only arrived a couple of days ago so yeah um, let's start with first of all the um, little booklet comes through so that just pretty much shows all of the uh, mini epics that are available not just Lord of the Rings but it's also gone through with the um, the men in black the bo uh, Borderlands and uh, a few of the other little uh, licenses that Weta have picked up so um, yeah they're pretty cool but uh, I'm just sticking with the Lord of the Rings ones myself uh, although saying that there are Ghostbusters ones coming out and I could be very easily swayed in picking them up but that's a story for another day let's get on to the Witch King the box so uh, clamshell design inside um, pretty easy you just pop him open um, well, first of all, let's have a quick look. The uh, number 13 there, and the cartoon sort of representation. They look really nice. Here's the side on. Pretty stock standard. Once again, the back, uh, just showing you some of the other uh, mini epics that are currently available. That Balrog is huge, by the way. If uh, I do have a video of some of these guys up, go check them out if you like. And uh, here's the other side of the box, and on top, once again, a really cool cartoony representation of the Witch King. Anyway, let's get on to him. He is a um, very unique looking um, mini epic. Uh, he's got a very, I love this mace, the Witch King mace from the movie, when he, uh, he took on Eowyn. That was really cool. And... Uh, but yeah, let's start with the head up here. Now, this actually comes off. See that? So it's got a little, just a little sort of very small join there. And uh, I'll hold this up here. But yeah, just the mask itself. Very, um, very thin, very small. Got lots of little um, points on there, but um, actually quite rigid. So just be a little bit careful. And he actually comes out like in the box. He actually comes in like this. So it is separate. And you just pop it on. So the cool thing is, with this, you can kind of put it on different sort of angles depending on where you want to, how you want to sort of display him. So anyway, there we go. But yeah, the um, it's very uh, ethereal kind of looking ring wraith and very thin. You can see there the uh, the robes are quite billowy as they come through down here and through here. But if you have a look at the back, he's actually his body parts all through here. You can kind of just make it out. So he's actually very thin and it's the robes that have given him a real sort of um, volume so a little bit of definition there on his gauntlets which is really cool and on his uh, shoulders so yeah you can see he's um, and just come down the boots there so it looks like there's sort of a, like a, a mist or something Underneath him, you can just make out his boots, right here. Just the silver boots, and of course, just over here. Uh, like all of the uh, mini epics, he does come with a um, plastic stand, so um, which actually is very helpful for this guy. But uh, yeah, so I picked him up for around about forty, forty-five dollars Australian. And he's available on the Weta website at the moment. Also, uh, I have noticed Mighty Ape is stocking them as well as Zing and EB Games here in Australia. Um, so check out their websites. Check out the deals. He's pretty cool. Uh, I would say he's not my favourite. Um, but he's very, uh, 
very different. But it gives you an idea. I'd ho I hope to actually see more Nazgul. Um, that's something I'm hoping for. And a Sauron would look very cool. So this gives you an idea of, um, you know, the Witch King. Again, you can play around with his, his, uh, his mask there. But, um, yeah, there we have him. So there is the Witch King. The Witch King of Angmar himself. So if you like these uh, mini epics, guys, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And, um, yeah, if you like to see them, check out my other videos and subscribe. I do have Merry and Pippin have also just arrived. So the fellowship will now be complete. And uh, hopefully in the next uh, couple of days I'll have some video reviews up of them. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.